Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you the date picker component. And I think you can guess it allows you to select a date. So if we go to Toolbox, go to Common Control, Date Time Picker, if we just drag that on, we'll get this sort of drop down. So if we run it, let's see what actually we get. So it says 10 October. This says 20 because it's not you know wide enough. I'll actually just remedy that right now. And you can see it's more than wide enough now. And if I click that, we get you know there's a conventional date time picker. And we could select a date and time. So this is great for let's say if you're creating an application and he has a user registration form and you want to know the user's date of birth, you can do it like this. And in code, you will actually add a button. Add a button right here. I'll make it pretty big. So when that button is clicked, we will actually get the content. So we'll just do dim. And if I say date as date time, so that is what the value will be returned as. And we'll. I know it's in use. Okay. What do they not like about it? No, nope, that's not what I want. Ah, uh, can't use that actual. I'll just put date one. Okay, that's fine now. So date is just reserved. So date one equals, and we're going to say date time. Pick a one, which is what it's called. So you can change the name to make it easier to reference, but we'll leave it like that for value. And what I'm going to do is just, what I'm actually do, just get a label. I'll put the label, I'll put it in between. And I'll make it so when we click that, it just puts this into the label. So if I do label one, dot text equals date one dot to string actually now we should just be able to print it off like this so we've got you know date selected so if i click that it puts it in here and it's a date time picker so it gets the time so if i were to you know, change this up the time doesn't seem to be updating. I think it's from when the actual application is run, it would appear. Okay, so as an extra task, what I want you to do is add an extra daytime picker. And I want you to work at the difference between the you know the two daytime pickers and put that value in the label. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will assist you. And as usual, thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial.